Hello everybody and welcome back to the Turbo Max Games YouTube channel where I show you how to make games quickly and more effectively. In today's video I'm going to be talking about some of the new changes coming to Unity this year and then I'm going to be talking about some of the things that you can expect to see on this channel over the coming weeks and months. And namely two of the major things that I'm going to be mentioning are Unity Dots which is the data oriented technology stack as well as Unity ECS which is the entity component system which is a part of Unity Dots. And if you don't understand what all that means, don't worry, I am gonna be talking about that a little bit later on in the video. But before I get into all that, I just wanted to say I hope you all had a happy holidays and a great new year. It's been a few weeks since I've put up a video and I was spending some much needed time with my family, so I hope you all got a chance to do the same. Also, I've been working on lining things up and getting some things planned out for 2020. And I can definitely say that 2020 is going to be an epic year. And actually, if all goes according to plan, this is gonna be the last video that I'm gonna be uh, recording on this kind of current setup here. Since I started posting videos regularly back in 2017, I've pretty much mainly been using this like knockoff GoPro. Um, to film my videos on so it's definitely time for an upgrade and so that should be arriving sometime soon and I'm very excited to start recording videos on the new setup and I definitely think that you all are going to notice a major uptick in quality of the videos. So other than an uptick in quality another thing that you can expect to see on this channel is me talking a lot more about Unity Dots and Unity ECS. So again Unity Dots is the data oriented technology stack and ECS stands for the Entity Component System. Now the Entity Component System is kind of a part of DOTS, they're kind of all intertwined. And these things are really exciting to me because it's a completely brand new way to structure your code and how your projects are set up in Unity. And it's gonna lead to much higher performance and we're gonna be able to uh, make more you know, crazy and complex games and be actually able to play them on less powerful devices. And so the main kind of difference between the traditional method of programming in Unity versus this new data-oriented technology stack is where previously we used what is known as object-oriented programming. So all the things in the Unity game world, you know, these are kind of referred to typically as game objects. So you have like say a game object for a player and then every individual enemy has their own game object. And on those game objects, you know, we have scripts and these scripts will often uh, contain data such as the health of the player or um, how many points the enemy is worth, things like that. And they'll also have behaviors tied to them. And so these behaviors can be things like um, how the player moves or how the enemy moves or, you know, when you push the A button, how you slash your sword, all that stuff is stored on the um, different objects. So again, this is object-oriented programming. Everything revolves around the object. Now, in the data-oriented technology stack, it's referred to as data-oriented programming. And again, this is a completely different programming paradigm. The main difference here is that everything is kind of separated out. They're separated into three major components, and that's where the entity component system comes into play. So the entity component system actually refers to three different things. You have entities, you have components, and you have systems. So an example of an entity would be, say, you know, a player or an enemy, and we could have many of these things and they'd all be referred to as entities. Um, however, it's a little bit different than a typical game object because these entities don't contain any data and they don't contain any you know programming logic behind them they're, they're just that they're just a representation of you know hey there's this is something that's in our game now these entities can be associated with things called components and components are pretty similar to uh, standard components that we have for game objects these are you know pretty much like you can think of uh, think of them as scripts that are applied to the different entities however these scripts only contain data. They only contain information about the you know, health of the entity or how many points it's worth, things like that. And then the last thing is the systems. And that's how we actually get you know, the players to move and the objects to interact with each other are through these systems. And then so it's really nice because we can have you know, one kind of system and then this could apply to you know, several, even thousands and thousands of different enemies. And it's really easy for the computer to process because of how everything is ordered. So again, that's just kind of like a high level overview of the 
uh, data oriented technology stack as well as the entity component system. And again, this is really exciting stuff to me. It's just something cool and new for me to learn and I'm really excited to share everything with you all. And so of course I'll be going over in much more detail about the basics of Unity Dots as well as ECS. But I do wanna hear from you. What kinds of things related to Dots and ECS do you wanna learn about? Do you wanna learn how to make you know, like millions and millions of enemies on a screen without taking a performance hit? Or are there any special projects that you might want to see um, how to do? I mean, like I said, I'm definitely gonna be going over all the basics and all the terminology so we can all be kind of, you know, caught up to speed and on the same page. But outside of that, I'd really love to hear what kinds of things that you'd like to see me do with the Unity Dots and ECS systems. But don't worry if Dots isn't necessarily your thing and you don't wanna you know, worry about that. I'm still gonna be making plenty of content on traditional Unity development. The main reason for this is because I think most people are still going to be um, developing games in the traditional way with the object-oriented design because um, it definitely does make a lot of sense it's pretty straightforward and there's no reason for you to learn a whole new programming paradigm when the current one is working out for you just fine but definitely let me know if there's anything that you're currently struggling with in unity and you really just kind of need some help you know kind of figuring out the waters or if there's anything kind of cool that you think uh, might be interesting to learn about with the traditional sense of unity programming um, so so again, just drop that down in the comment section below if you do want to learn any of that. And outside of making tutorial videos on the data-oriented technology stack and traditional Unity game development, I'm going to be working on some development tools very similar to the uh, 2D Screenbox tool that I recently released on the Asset Store a few months ago. Um, you can check out the video I made on that up in the card up here, and I'll leave some links in the description so you can check that out as well. But I'm going to be making some more development tools that help you make your games quickly and more effectively. So again, if there's anything that you're struggling with or um, you think could be made a little bit easier in your current developing habits, um, let me know and let me know if there's anything that you think that I could help you out by making some tools for. So again, the Turbo Makes Games channel is all about helping you make games quickly and more effectively. So that's kind of the general plan for this beginning part of 2020. I really wanna help you all succeed at bringing your creations to life. So if there's any way that I can help you out with um, something that you're struggling through, maybe you need just a better strategy of how to approach your work, or if, again, if there's a specific tool or tutorial that I can make that can help you out in your work, um, I definitely want to learn about that and help you out in any way possible. I really just wanna help you all achieve your goals in 2020. Now, I think the start of the decade is a great place for you to start something new or to start fresh on something that you've been kind of meaning to do for a while. So again, this is a great time to do it and I can't wait to see all the awesome things that you create. So anyways, that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed it and you found it useful at all, make sure you hit that like button. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss all those amazing videos that are gonna be coming out on the channel very, very soon. And with that, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Happy 2020, everybody.